Racing a full World Cup season is a transformative experience. Each year brings bigger goals, faster curveballs, new peaks and deeper valleys. A race team is about creating consistency in this inconsistent environment. It's what helps athletes focus on achieving their goals and what makes it newsworthy when one changes teams. 2023 was a newsworthy year for the giant factory off-road team as they welcomed not one, but five new athletes. These five new faces were welcomed by five of the team's most familiar, forming a mix of veteran experience and youthful drive capable of reaching the podium. This year, their World Cup season began in March with the enduro athletes laying tracks down under in Tasmania. seeing Luke on the podium in the number one jersey and then Remy in second, it doesn't really get much better than that. Yeah, pretty special to be able to take the win. Didn't really expect it, to be honest, so it was pretty cool. Came down with a bit of a flu last night, so I'm yeah, energy's just not there. I'm just struggling on the pedals, so I've kept pushing all the way to the end. Two top ten, sixth place today. It's pretty close to podium now, so I know I can do it. June was a leapfrog of logistics across Europe with five consecutive weeks of World Cup racing. Along the way, the team launched a new bike with Giant, touched the podium again, and raced together for the first time in World Cup history at the first combined downhill cross country and enduro World Cup in Leogang. <laughs> hey, race day, baby. First round of the year, it's pretty exciting. Just finished round one, happy days. Quite relieved to be fair. <laughs> we made some specific bike changes for this particular race and it, and it worked out. We got our best ever result, which was great. Had a couple of really good power stages which for me is amazing. That's a really big win. Oh, I did the second time on stage three and I won the last one. So the pace is there for sure. Excited, a bit nervous at the same time. Prepare the season with the new frame, the last version of the Glory. So no, definitely really excited to start this season. Loving the new setup. The uh, new Glory is really good and feeling really comfortable on it already. So really stoked about that and the colours look unreal and the kit matches perfectly. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, I got the flat on the back uh, just after the steep shot. Really disappointed. I don't know. I was in my line like always on this time at flat. So, yeah, really disappointed. Bad luck for the team this weekend. So, focus on the next and we'll see. This is my, one of my favorite venues, so happy to be here.
Lenser hide's good to me. Yeah, sensations were good. I was able to push a little bit, which was nice, and I just kept it super steady the whole time. Man, another second in Lenserfied. Feels good, man, to be back at the front. Really cool to be like in Switzerland and uh, with uh, all the people sharing. It was like you forget uh, you pay in the legs. Here we are, Leo Gang Austria, the first mega round of the World Cup. We've got enduro, e enduro, short track, downhill, cross country. It's all here. It's the first time our entire Giant Factory Off Road team family is here. I got maybe a little bit overexcited. I lost the third spot with like two corners to go and that sucks a little bit. Massive performances, Jens got a fourth uh, in the short track and he got a ninth in the cross country, which is pretty epic. Yoon held on for an eighth overall in the enduro. I got 11th, McKay got 16th. Uh, we saw Antoine return to cross country racing, which is pretty cool. Remy, Ramdog, the little Remy came home with the top 30 finals into a 19th position, which was mega, mega cool to see. And it's been a really, really cool weekend of racing. Definitely the roughest track of the year, so really got to try and make sure you can get to the bottom without your arms cooking out. Apparently it rained a lot during the night, so I'm gonna try the mud tire this morning. Unfortunately, it was not fair play for everyone because of the weather, but uh, yeah, top 15. Cracked into the top 10 and yeah, only up from here, so we'll keep training and stuff and might get on the podium soon. <laughs> First short track U23 win, so yeah, I'm super fired up and I'm feeling really good for Sunday, so. Yeah, last lap, stuff went down, so. Uh, so first place had a mechanical and I was already on the hunt, so. Yeah, I came on to the last climb and in the lead. So yeah, fun little joy ride to the finish. Can't believe did the double, crazy. Do I have lettuce on my teeth? Yeah, we're good. We're in Canada, is this round four? No, it's five. five. Yeah, five. It's five. 
Okay. <laughs> We're at uh, Canada for round five of the Enduro World Cup. A little bit of rain, but you know, something we're used to here at the Enduro Wet Series. So, you know, glad to have some good weather and hopefully some good tracks. It looks really good in track walk and really excited to just get out there. It's gonna be better and better, so it might be drier for the race. No, no big deal. Big mountains. I'm very excited about this race. I've always had a good time in the Val de Fassa Trentino round and feeling quietly confident here this weekend. We haven't had one of those in a while. Man, it feels good to have one. Driving a good pace all day. My bike setup worked great. Max is shorty out back with low tire pressure on these brand new giant wheels. Worked uh, worked a bit of all right. So so far fourth place and mate couldn't be happier. Another top 20, I'm really happy. It's funny though, after you do one, you want to do better. So to tie last weekend, obviously that's great. I think I finished P13, so not top 10. That's my first race out of the top 10 this year. Now I have, I have two months off uh, to prepare the last two rounds in France, so I'm going to be there. After a break in the schedule in July, the team returned to Europe for four more consecutive weeks of racing in August. This part of the season meant something different for everyone. For downhill and cross country, it marked the halfway point of their season. But for Enduro, it was their last two chances to go for broke before their season ended. Some of the riders would wrestle with redemption, others would achieve new heights, and one would race their last race with the team. We're back on. Um, yeah, I've been waiting for a little while and it's been a little bit tense, but uh, excited. Um, they didn't end up counting it on us. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Like, um, Pretty good run, a couple of mistakes actually, so I room for improvement, but I can't complain with that. First World Cup this year, back from injury. Um, I'll take that. Oh yeah. Yes. It's like it's not hard on the pedals, 
you just like can't recover at all. So coming here, I was, I didn't know what to expect. Um, but no, fifth, I'm, I'm happy with it. Something I can build on. We put the big tire on the bike, so let's see what happens. Soon it's time to race. The team climb uh, killed everyone, I think. I was moving up nicely into top 20, and then I don't do nothing anymore. Like my body stopped working, and there's definitely something wrong with me because uh, this was not all right. It's kind of nice. It's always nice to have fresh bike and fresh kit. It makes you feel cool. You go and get it filthy dirty in the mud. Uh, today I feel good. I'm in shape and I'm ready to go, so it's gonna be a lovely day. I think the pace is good. It's not as good as I want, but no, no big mistakes. So, yeah, keep uh, keep fighting for for something. <laughs> At the finish line, I... oh, you second, you first. What? Do I won or what? <laughs> and I did it, so I'm pretty, pretty stoked. I wait uh, a long time for this one, so stoked about the team, the crew, the atmosphere. It's like everyone helped a lot. I like the track here. It's bit like old school with half camber steep and natural section so yeah pretty stuck to, to racing on this kind of track. Just so happy to, to be back on the box with my new team Giants and yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, I was unlucky since the beginning of the season and finally uh, I got a good result, so, so stuck. Good to be uh, back at the front. I had a really good week just riding the bike uh, in a beautiful place, and I think it, um, yeah, it showed. Yeah, no, I was I was feeling strong today, but uh, obviously after a tough few XCO races, I just wanted to 
sort of settle in and uh, yeah, see how it's feeling. And I knew last lap I had some left in the tank, so uh, yeah, I'm uh, super happy with third. Very happy. Um, actually, since half of June, I'm struggling a little bit. And I figured out what it was last week. So, in the race, I had again the legs that I know I can have. And yeah, another fourth, just not on the podium again. But um, I went full gas. I am just happy with fourth place actually today. Hard one, but nice one. Uh, one more 20, 21 spot. I have nothing to regret. I really did a good race. I raced smart. I I descended well. I kept my cadence in the uphill, so I did a really good race. It's quite a big day. Uh, final round of 2023, and my final race for the Giant Factory Off Road Team. It's pretty uh, <laughs> bit emotional, bit of a big deal. It's been a long chapter and a long journey. You had a really good stage too. I know, I know you want more years, but for today. But yeah, that's it. 12 years comes to an end with Giant Factory Off-Road Team. 12 years are pretty awesome memories so far and it's a it's a pretty pretty crazy journey that I'm lucky to experience and lucky to have people around me to, to go through it and it's something I'll cherish for uh, forever. As the enduro season wrapped up in France, so did the summer block of racing in Europe. To wrap up their season, the downhill and cross-country riders would fly to North America. Snowshoe in West Virginia brought the red, white and blue, but the colours in the Mont Saint Anne fall were hard to beat. Trying to line my cleat, cleats up, which is always a struggle. <laughs> trying to get it perfect. A bit difficult because Remy had a decent crack in the second run. I was not sure about how the day would go, but Brittany ended up four from the time training today, just that well good. Had a good guess on the suspension setup so far. Seems to work.
in the back with one half left to go but decided to ride with the insert with the flat tire and eventually paid off kind of since I didn't lose any spots anymore. Yep, new kit from Giant this week. I think it looks sick. Feel fresh and go fast, yeah. One of the hardest tracks uh, for the bike here because you have a lot of rocks and the commitment is so fast. No, I have no regrets. I did the, the run I wanted to do, I steered my bike, <laughs> I'm in one piece and yeah, 16 today. The finals run was a bit of a mess but it was really good to get back into the final and finish off on a good note so I know what to work on for next year and yeah, hopefully I can come in cooking and get some good results next year. Yeah, just got to keep working in the off season and um, come out swinging next year so that's the plan. No, I was third coming into the day, so it was, uh... Yeah, I knew I need, needed second or better, um, and yeah, no, I fought super hard with it. I wasn't feeling the greatest today, so I was, I'm super proud of the, the fight. Still some good points for next year and uh, it's good to finish uh, the season uh, like this and all good. 2023 was a massive season spanning seven months, three continents and 13 World Cups. During that time the athletes achieved five wins and eight podiums. Behind the athletes is the support of 14 dedicated team staff, 17 sponsors and of course, giant bicycles. Before introducing more faces for 2024, we'd like to thank all those who made 2023 possible.